What's up? Uh, my name is Will Gaffney. Um, I'm a filmmaker from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, I started a company just back in December 2016 called Weightless Films. Um, and prior to that, I owned a share in another production company, uh, which I recently sold. So because I've started this new company, I've been buying some new gear and I thought it would be a good opportunity to review some of the stuff given I'll be using a lot of it for the first time, maybe do some unboxing videos. So my first video is... <laughs> Unboxing my brand new Phantom 4 Pro Plus, which is also my first drone I've ever had. So, first thing I got is a second battery. Everybody I spoke to who has a drone and everything I've watched online has always said that at least one battery. I think these get like 25 to 30 minutes per battery flight time as a maximum. So I figured at least this way I'll get the best part of an hour with two. So that's that. But, here's the main thing. Oh, need a knife. All right. Oh. Actually quite nice. So it's obviously made out of like styrofoam or something, but it's quite well molded and it's got a decent handle on it and it's actually even got a proper clip. So I'm guessing it's kind of designed so you can keep it in it, but I reckon if you could get a bag that would fit around this, that would be handy. I've been thinking about trying to buy a proper case for my drone, but I think this would actually work fine as long as I had a bag that I could just like throw over my shoulder or something. So it's pretty cool. So undo this clip twist. Ooh. Okay, so my first impression is it's actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I'm a massive drone noob. I've never owned one. I've never even flown one before in my life. I just knew that I needed one for a project I'm doing. So everything to me is super new. And that is a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Let's pull it out. Ah. Second thing is it actually weighs more than I thought it would. I, for some reason, expected it to be really light. Even though I knew that these weigh, I think they're around about a kilo and a half. I felt like it would be much flimsier than this, but it feels really solid and well built. So it's cool. And it's actually got quite a substantial lens on the front, which was the reason I picked this drone in the first place. I was looking at the Mavic Pro as well, but I think this is, the picture on this is so far superior. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess this is the main thing that I wanted to check out, which everyone's been talking about, is this crazy cool controller. Uh, I bought the Pro Plus because uh, a lot of reviews I read said it was very difficult to uh, control the drone with your phone in bright sunlight and stuff because the screens don't operate very well, so you have to think about hoods and all those things. Uh, and everything I read said that this controller is amazing in bright sunlight, direct light, you can still see the whole image. So pretty keen to test that out. The fuck? I'm so not a professional unboxer of anything. I don't know what I'm doing. So let's get this guy out of the way for a second. Feels, again, kind of like the drone, really solid and quite weighty, which is generally a good sign with electronics. Um, feels like the controllers are super responsive. I'm a long time gamer, so I feel that I'll have no issue at all with flying a drone. In saying that, stay tuned for the next video because that will be my first ever time flying a drone, which will be this guy. But it feels like it should be easy enough to control. And see what else is in the box. Uh, well, here's the propellers or rotors or whatever the people who actually know what they're talking about call them, which seems pretty standard. And charger. 
instruction manual, power cable, and that's it. So it's not really, certainly not a whole lot to it. It's just all, uh, first batteries in it. Even that, like, I mean, that's half of the weight of the entire drone is in the battery. Um, but it, according to all reports, they're quite smart batteries, so we'll see. Oh. So let's see if I can power this controller on again. Certainly doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm gonna have a quick look at the manual and see what it says and see how much of an idiot I'm being. Actually comes with a 16 gig micro SD, which is, I guess, it's good. I can't imagine it's gonna shoot for very long on that, but I'm kind of stoked that it actually comes with something. Quick start guide. This is exactly what I need right now. Ah. Okay, so there goes my inexperience again. You have to press, then press again and hold, and the controller will turn on. I had no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. So it's booting up. Hello. Very, uh, I don't know if you can see, because it's probably clipping just to white. It certainly looks like it there, but very Apple-styled graphics on the screen to start off with. Next. I will probably fast forward the majority of this because it's very boring. So as I'm doing this setup, a couple of things that I'm noticing straight away is the, screw, the touch screen's really responsive, like it's, it doesn't, I don't feel like I have to press hard or anything, it's just really nice. And the other thing I'm noticing is that the fan in this controller is actually making quite a substantial amount of noise. If I hold it up to my mic, it's pretty, it's pretty noisy. Cool, and I'm in. So I'm gonna spend the next, I don't know, half an hour or so, just poking around, um, working out the menus, kind of getting everything set up. I've also discovered by watching some reviews and stuff online that you really need to download firmware updates for both of these things straight away before you even start using it because sometimes they don't like to talk to each other. So I'll do that. So all in all, I'm actually pretty impressed with the build quality. I mean, that's the only thing I'm really aware of at this early stage now, but yeah, so far so good. Hopefully I can get these guys talking to each other and then hopefully there'll be a video of me flying this thing and not crashing it in the very, very near future. Uh, if it's available already, I'll put the link in the description. I'll also put a link to my production company in the description. If you could check it out, that would be cool. And uh, I'm sure there'll be more videos soon. Thanks for watching.